RCA Victor and its dealers present Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. My little muffler. My little muffler with my name on it. <laughs> oh, it'd be so exciting. I can hardly wait. <laughs> I'll take my nightshirt. It's rough dried. Should have ironed it. Take my wrapper. New wrapper. I keep warm. Guess I'll take my little everyday apron. Hardy anyway. wait. Get on the train. <laughs> Hope I'll probably have to have this all these things pressed. This is my dress, this is my fancy apron. I might I might have a we might give a party in New York or Philadelphia, I might want to dress up. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be there to see us. Cameramen and photographers and old friends, new friends. Tailored apron, I guess I better take that. Oh, I can already wait. Again, on the 20th century, and I can just hear it now. The old, the old um, fella yelling, All aboard! Off we go to New York with Franny and Ollie and Fletcher and Mercedes and Madame Wolfpost and the whole bunch. <laughs> Beyond the blue horizon waits a beautiful day. Goodbye to things that bore me. Joy is waiting for me. I see a new horizon. My life has only begun. Beyond the blue horizon lies a more I haven't begun yet. Will you help me? Sure, I've got my wrapper and, and my nightshirt. Oh, I shouldn't be telling you that. Well, that's all right. I'm glad you took your little wrapper. My toothbrush. To did you forget? Where's my toothbrush? I, I used to take a wash rag, too. I always like to take a wash rag, because the hotels don't always have well, wash Well, yes, rag. Cooper, do. Do I take, take a wash rag. And get a little soap dish. Yeah. A little soap dish. Here, I got my toothbrush. Oh, good. I hope this room, I better open it up. I have my things all ready to go. But I have, don't have them packed yet, because I want to put tissue paper in them. I thought maybe tissue we'd... Tissue paper? What for? So they won't wrinkle. Oh. Well, maybe I should have done that with mine. Didn't you put tissue paper Didn't in your things? tissue paper in. Oh, Kukla. Here, I'll put my... Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Did you take a little traveling iron? No, I don't have my traveling iron. Well, supposing I take mine, and then... You take the traveling iron, because we'll have to have all my... I brought four aprons. Four aprons? Yeah. What? 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 Uh... Do you think you'll use four aprons for? I don't know. I just thought I might have a chance to give four different kind of parties. Well, now, that's a nice <laughs> thing. I hadn't even thought about it. Brought my that. hairbrush. Whatever yeah, for. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> Look, Kitty. always brushes his hair. Mm. Yeah. He brushes yours sometimes, yeah, too. Yeah, I think I'm going to have him stop. <laughs> it's not funny. Oh, so easy. he's too serious today. Look, are you packed? No, but I'm all ready to pack. Neither am I. I'm not packed. I'm waiting for a new coat. A new coat? Mm -hmm. Did you get a new coat on? I'm having it fitted. Brook what? style. No shoulders. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. It's going to be handsome, though. I bet it will. You shouldn't wear the Brook style. You're not the type. What do you mean, I'm not the type? You're not the Down East type. You, you, you don't comb your hair right. 
I don't comb my... <laughs> like that, I don't comb my hair right. What do you mean? Well, you should part it on the side and bring it way down in a long loop. That's right. Then you have to wear uh, horn rim glasses. You can have a little, uh, what do you call them, vent in the back? Hmm? Vent? Uh, that, maybe yeah, a little, that's not right. place in the back of the coat. Look, oh, look, yes, look. sure, sure. I have a, and flaps in the pocket, sure. Oh, mm -hmm. say, yeah. you'll really be in there. Yeah. <laughs> you wearing a cap or a hat? Hmm? You're wearing a cap or a hat? I'm going bareheaded. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, I, I wish you wouldn't. Your mother worries, though, you know, when you don't wear something on your hand. I wear my garden hat. No? Sure, for the trip. It's a nice traveling costume. <laughs> oh, so exciting. I can hardly wait. I hope that my suit gets here in time. What color is it? Hmm? What color is it? Purple. Brooks Brothers? Purple? Oh, and it isn't from Brooks Brothers. It's just a Brooks cut. Oh, I see. <laughs> Who cut it? Jewel the Witch cut it for me. She oh. stitched it up, too. Perish the thought. No wonder you don't have any shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> have very little of anything else. Hey, kids, did you see the telegrams that came? No. No. Bring them up. Here's some right here. Don't talk with your mouth full. Sorry. Charlotte Parker. Huh? Charlotte? Yes. <laughs> Charlotte the Indian Parker. That's what, <laughs> what with Charlotte and Red Wing, those Indians are very hospitable. Yes. Here's a very interesting one. Does Ollie know about it? What? Have been requested by Lawrence Langer, director of Theater Guild, to ask oh, you yes. to call him when yeah. you are in New York in connection with possible audition for part in Theater Guild on air production. Yes, I, yes. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I know about that. I don't know that I'll have the time or not, but I'll certainly try. Try to what? To call Mr. Langer. <laughs> oh, you... come now, Ollie. Relax. <laughs> Watch it. Mrs. McChesney sent oh, us a wire. Bless her nice? heart. It's so exciting. Oh. Cousin Dorothy and Cousin Merle. What's Cousin Dorothy say? Said, uh, did you invite her to something? Yes, I invited her to come and see us. Oh, well, that's lovely. Luncheon or something. Accept your invitation with delight. Just heard principal of Dragon Academy plans to present you with honorary degree, LLD, meaning likely looking dragon. Suggest you buy a cap and gown and think up inspirational speech. I must bring my mortar board. Yes, please do. All oh, these wires to Ollie. Yeah, and then here's one, here's one though, to all of us, from Myra Kingsley. Oh, that's nice. Here's a nice one. Oh. Read that from Bill Gargan. Martin Kane, private eye, available as bodyguard, gratis on your... Your New York visit, how wonderful. There's one from Milton Bunny Kniff. Oh, yes. Oh, I hope we can see them, don't you? Yeah. Well, we take those out far. Would right you, dear, please? Mm -hmm. Fine. Well, what, what are you going to take now? Oh, I'm taking, um, I have 24 dresses. Mm -hmm. I took uh, three dozen blouses. I took um, 16 scarves. And, um, 16 scarves? That could be that cold. They're just, they're very thin scarves. That could be that cold. But they're very thin. I'm at 16. Well, you can take as many as you want, Fred. I well, don't care. Well, I just thought it would be nice to take. I'm so excited. I'm not taking Hello, them. Hello, everybody. I'm ready to go. Blue dresses. <laughs> <laughs> don't you look beautiful. Several hours till the train. Oh, I know. I know. Yes, but I just thought I'd be, I'm all ready. Belt in the back and all. Isn't that nice? I'm sort of an ulster. Oh, <laughs> how was that again? It's an ulster. Oh, I misunderstood you for a minute. Yes, <laughs> wonderful. Just beautiful. I can hardly wait. Oh, boy, say it's going to be wonderful. Oh, I, they say that 20th Century Limited is really a fine train, mm -hmm. and I think it's going to be terribly exciting. As a matter of fact, I've uh, I prepared a whole box lunch for all of us. Oh, no, no, that you can eat on the train. I know, that's what I brought it for, so we could eat on the train. <laughs> oh, bless but, but you can go to the dining car. Oh, well, that makes me kind of nervous. I'm just afraid, see, I have to watch over uh, Cecil Bill and Mercedes, and it makes me just a little bit nervous to have to, to take them to the dining car. So I think we'll eat in our, uh, in our, um, compartment or whatever we have. Mm -hmm. What do you have? I don't know, really, I see. as yet. But uh, I'll, I'll watch over everything, so don't you worry. I'll take care of the kids. Oh, well, thank you. So, well, I'm leaving now. I hope you'll be there in time. Fletcher, it's, it's 24 hours away. I know, but I'm prompt. Yes, you are, if nothing else. He certainly is. He's so worried. He's coordinating the whole thing. It'll take him 24 hours to get through the gate, because he'll have to talk to the man. <laughs> tell him his father once rode on that train. 
I should say. Oh, I, I don't think his father ever wrote on the 20th I century. Think it is. <laughs> Oh, I really get Oh, <clears throat> did you take your little umbrella and your little raincoat? No, I forgot my little hey, umbrella and raincoat. How about you? Do you have a rain cape, Ollie? Mm-hmm. Well, don't you think you should take it? Mm-hmm. Well, will you? I don't know. I feel so giddy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really feel so giddy with all these offers I've had from all the people in New York. <laughs> I uh, don't know exactly what I'm going to do, as a matter of fact. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I'd like to accept uh, Mr. Uh, Langner's uh, invitation about the Theater Guild of the Year, because after all, uh, I know J. Carlisle McDonald of U.S. Steel pretty well, and I know he'd like to see me on it. But oh, I'm sure he would. I, I don't really know what I can do. Well, Ollie, I think you'll just. I'd like to. I'd like to talk to Mr. McDonald though, because there are a few little odd steel parts that I need for a new invention I'm working on, and I thought maybe he could help me a little bit. Oh, I think he might do that. It'd be nice. Yes, I do. The only trouble is that when I get out there, things get so glamorous that I just don't want to come back, and then I might not come back to Chicago. Well, I might not. Might stay? I might. We certainly would miss you, Ollie. Would you? Yes. Then I'll come back. Well, thank you. <laughs> so glad. Francie? Yes. Why don't you... You remember that lovely tune you sang last year that we loved so much? Do you remember the one? I know the one you mean. I'm not sure whether I remember it or not. Well, uh, could we help you? You might. We could try. All right. Far away places with strange sounding names. Far away next to the sea. Those far away places. With the nice sounding names are calling, calling me. Going to travel to old New York town, cause I want to see for myself those strange sounding places. I've been reading about in a book that I took from the shelf. I start getting restless whenever I hear the whistle of a train. I pray for the day. Get underway and look for those castles in Spain. Call me a dreamer. Well, maybe I am, but I know that I'm burning to see that far away place. With a nice sounding name, New York is calling me. <sighs> Won't it be great? Yeah. Won't we have fun? I hope so. I hope so too. Well, I guess I'd have. Mm -hmm. I don't feel I, very happy all of a sudden. You don't feel... really? I'm sad about... about next week. What do you mean? Well, that's a shame. I'm sad about when it'll be all over. Oh, goodness, Ollie. You have so many wonderful <laughs> things to remember. We can talk about it for months after we come back. Why, it hasn't even begun yet. No. I know, but I'm strange. I've been looking forward to it so long, full of, uh, uh, and precipitation, mm -hmm. that, uh, now that it's here, I, uh, I'm a week ahead of myself and I'm already back. <laughs> oh, Ollie. It's like time and space. Yes, I know. Curve. Why don't you go downstairs and read about it? I think I have some work to do. You know how you enjoy reading about time and space? Not today. Not today? Mm. 
Now, if we're going to have that on our hands, we might just as well stay home. I never know whether he means it or not. Well, I don't know, but I'm just not going to put up with any temperament. You don't have to put up with any temperament, honey. Nobody's going to have any temperament. We're all going to get along. This is going to be a wonderfully easy trip. Had some, I had a, did you see the new little hat I have to wear? No. Lydia made it for me. Oh, oh have you tried it on? No, you want to try it on me? Yes. Do you, do you put the, uh, the little the elastic? Usually I put it under my chin, but you can... That's a little short. Oh. <laughs> Are we going to be nice for her when we go out handsome. all dressed for dinner? Yes. I thought I might wear it to cape, the opera. Black cape. Yes, my black cape with a lying that Aunt Mary made. Yeah. It's a nice trick, too. That's a soft hat. Yes, it is. Well, it's just beautiful. Beulah Witch got a new hat, too, I guess. Did she? Mm -hmm. Miss Crow oh, sent her over a lovely Miss Crow hat. did? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Well, Beulah, let's see your new hat. Is she back yet? I haven't even seen Beulah. Beulah, let's see your new hat. Beulah! Hello, kids. Well, look at you. Well, hi. That's not the one I was speaking of, but isn't it beautiful? Why'd you say friend? No friends over there. Oh, hello, dear. Hello, Beulah. How are you? Why? How was your trip? Well, I didn't go anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I thought you were going is. to New York and Philadelphia. I had thought some about well, it. Well, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you can go sometime. Yes, I do too, Bill. Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we're going. Are you? Yes. Fine, Last fine. week. <laughs> Wonderful. What's the matter with you, Buster? Nothing. Just let it go. Just let it go. It's Nothing right. at all. I feel perfectly well. Ha, 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 ha. Upset? Yes, he is a little. About what? I don't know, I'm sure. You like my hat? Love it, Beulah. Quel Chateau. You bet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got it, got it for Mercedes. For Mercedes? No, from Mercedes. We right. traded. Oh, Mercedes had a new hat? Yeah, Lydia made this for Mercedes, and Mercedes took one look at it. She uh, said it was too unsophisticated for her. So I put it on. She yes. Said it was just my right type. Yes, you certainly are the very type. Sweet, don't you think? Yes, sweet. Gosh! It's your hat. Yes! It's your hat. That's what I thought. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just... No, it's not mine. It's Mercedes. No, it's really you. Oh, no, no, no. It's re... No, no, no. It's really Mercedes. I'm just borrowing it. No, I think of it as being you. What? I like to think of it that way. What? And I believe I will, too. What? Anything, Bueller. Anything. Well, you give up easy, don't you, dear? No, not so easy. <laughs> well, I'll see you in Frisco. So long, kids. Goodbye. <coughs> oh, murder. She gone? Yeah, she's gone. Coast is clear. I can bear it. Cannot bear it another minute. <sighs> what happened to, what happened to, to, um, to, um, Beulah Witch's hat, the one she got from Miss Crow? Well, now, I don't know, uh, and I wasn't certainly going to ask for an explanation. Mm -hmm. I only have a few minutes here. Oh, you leaving? Say, look at you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Kel Chateau. Huh? Mm. I'm going to be a model. Yeah, I can see that. See, look. <laughs> That's good. I'm already acquiring that, that slouch, you know. Yeah, a little more from the knees. <laughs> it's very attractive. Mm -hmm. I thought so. I'm going to be a model, because I, I am sort of the 20s type that they're using so much now. <laughs> Watch out. Mercedes, be very careful. That might do something to your back. Oh, no. No, oh, I can do it even more. <laughs> Get on the train, Mercedes. Get in bed and pull up the covers over your head and stay there. Told you it would be an easy trip, didn't I? Yes, indeed. <sighs> Can't bear it, Fran. Oh! Oh, my goodness, I forgot. I hope everything... Where's Cecil Bill? I haven't seen him. Uh, you Shall go look for him, will yes, you? Yes, I will. Uh, Cecil Bill! Cecil Bill! Oh, have you seen Cecil Bill? Hmm? Have you seen Cecil Bill? Mm-mm. What are you doing? Um, just reading. What are you reading about? Just some hints on care of the hair. Oh, look for Cecil Bill, will you? I don't know where he is. Cecil Bill! Cecil Bill! Sweet, sweet, sweet. You all ready to go? No, I'm over here. <laughs> Cecil Bill, I wanted to check with you about all the equipment. You know, we're taking so many things this time. We've got to have take the zoom our lens and, and our engineer's cats and Bob are going in there to... I don't know whether he's looking at me or not. <laughs> Tudo, 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 tudo.
Oh, it's all piled out. Are you sure we have enough uh, suitcases? Oh, not enough suitcases for the RCA Victor 45. But it, it's, it's all ready, huh? Where is it? Oh. Oh, my goodness. All the stuff we're taking. Trunks. Boxes. Oh, there's NBC Field Television. Says a bill. Isn't that the little 45 there? And the wonderful little RCA Victor uh, table radio? But what's it doing out there out of its box? There's no box for it. Well, it's awful pretty. I kind of like to carry it that way. It'd be kind of fun to show all our friends on the train. Beautiful large eight inch speaker. It's beautiful tone, you know. That's that's a particular remarkable thing about, about this little RCA Victor radio. It has that, because of that wonderful eight inch speaker, it has really console tone quality. Well, I know you know it, but I just have to repeat it for myself, because it fascinates me so. And a golden throw. Oh, with a built-in photo jack in the back, so you can plug in a little record player like the RCA Victor 45 record player. Look at it going there. Where is it connected? Oh, right to the train, huh? Extension cord. Oh, well, that's wonderful. It's so cute, that little 45, playing away like that. World's fastest changer. What'd you say? There's no translation for that. There's something very nice about the RCA Victor 45. I'm sorry, I can't translate it. Oh, it makes a handsome pair, but we really, we really should have a suitcase for them. You're going to carry one? I'm carrying the other. Okay. Think we can keep them running all the time? Well, yeah, we should get... This bothers me. Would you kind of get it? Fixed or something? Well, I'll see you later. No! Cecil Bill. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Go downstairs now. Oh, I guess everybody's ready. Fran, everybody's practically ready, I think. Except me, I don't have my clothes or anything. Cecil Bill might as well stay home. He won't see anything anyway. No. Everybody, we're ready, we're ready! be divine. Oh, New York is waiting for me, I know. Yes. Hello, New York. I'll be there. I'll be there soon to greet you all in person. <laughs> oh, it's being divine. Simply grand. Well, nice having seen you. See you kids later. Yes. We're going to. Oh, of course, I'd forgotten. Goodbye. Come along, Colonel. Yes, my dear. Oh, that poor soul. Colonel Cracky. You going with her? Well, I don't know. I'm sure they'll have a fine conversation. Yeah, I'm sure they will. It's going to be dreadfully one-sided, <laughs> one way or the other. <sighs> you ready? Well, I'll get my things on. Okay. How about you? I'd, I'd better get my things. Oh, do you want to? Well, I think I should, don't you? Okay. Now, I'm going to read poem. a very famous poem. A poem that was written especially for us by um, uh, Steve DeBon. Uh, Steve DeBon of New York City, who is one of our dearest friends from the RCA Victor Days at the World's Fair way back in way back in a few months ago. <clears throat> <clears throat> Welcome, Encore, to Nouveau York, you fascinating trio. Glad you picked out Notre Town and not San Juan or Rio. We've ordered a carpet of scarlet red to roll out at the station, and Mayor O'Dwyer's consented to head the welcoming delegation. We've harnessed the pigeons in Central Park to draw your royal handsome with Copa girls as bodyguards at the price of a kingly ransom. We've rented Yankee Stadium for an intimate ceremony and 60 Rockettes from the Music Hall will each ride in on a pony. We've engaged not the room in the Waldorf Towers, but a floor complete with piazza and the range for you to go swimming in the pool at Rockefeller Plaza. There'll be balls and parties and banquets, banquets, parties and balls. And if there's time to squeeze it in, a trip to Niagara Falls. 21, the stork, the Persian room, will all swing wide their doors, and Billy Rose and Billingsley will entertain you with chores. The chefs at the Drake in Morocco will cook delicacies to your order, and Water Commissioner Carney will supply you with gallons of water. For Kook, there's a wardrobe from Brooks. For Ollie, two new Cadillacs. For Fran, there's jewelry from Cartier's. For the troop, charge account. At Saks. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I hope DeBond can back this up. For Beulah, Gami, Russ, and Jack, BT, Mary, and Joe, whether here or staying behind, we'll empty the treasury of dough. 
So kids, we here in Nouveau York look forward to your coming. For you, we'd make the trumpets blare and the air alive with drumming. We'd really like to do these things to make your stay here jolly. For you see, we love you all. Coupla, Fran, and... Oh, Ollie. <laughs> Come on, Fran, we're ready to go. Okay. Gonna sing our vacation song. All right, ready. You know, going on... I can't find the arm holes here. That's all right. You and Cecil Bill. <clears throat> You're dressed to go with Beulah Witch. You're riding on the train. We're not going with Beulah Witch. That's all right. You look cute. Thank you. Maybe cold. Kathy sent me some flowers. Did you do wonderful? <laughs> yes. Well, let's sing our vacation song. Okay. <clears throat> this is vacation. This is trip. Going away, going away to New York City. Going away, going away to Philadelphia. Going to trip to life fantastic on a most fantastic trip. Going away, going away for a winter holiday. Kid? You were superb. Hey, where are you? Here. Oh. Are we ready to go? Yes. Oh, you look wonderful. We'll be a wonderful trio on the 20th we're com century. Complete for gardening, <laughs> skiing, or strolling in the park. Yeah, and our friends in Chicago, we'll be back here in just a week. And, of course, you'll watch the show just the same. We'll be doing it from New York for three days and from Philadelphia the next two days. And we'll be back with you in just a little over a week. So <laughs> we, uh, we hope you'll be watching and watching us have all our fun in New York, huh? Yeah. You bet. And, well, until we see you then, uh, remember, in television... It's RCA... Victor. So long! <laughs> This is Bert Tilstrom thanking you on behalf of all the Kukapolitan players. As Fletcher might say, uh, thanks. Oh, yes, thanks very much indeedy. RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, first in television. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago.